Have you ever wanted your text to show emotion, like breaking it apart or shattering it? Let me show you how to do it. The first thing you're going to need is text. So I'm going to pick this one out right here. Uh, it is a hollow effect, so I'm going to go in there and put none. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this image, and then I'm going to re-upload it. So I already have one that's like that. So what we're going to do is go down here to all my little things. And then what you want to do, if you want a slanted, like all your letters slightly slanted, you can go into here and we'll go up into our edit image and we'll go into our smart, smart mockups. And then we'll go down here to where we have a very slanted computer screen and that'll make your image here slanted and then what you want to do is of course you want to make it bigger to kind of fit into the frame and crop out as much of the computer as you can make it big as possible And then what you're going to do is you're going to take it to a background remover. You're going to download it, take it to your background remover. I do not have one. I don't have Canva Pro, so I have to go take it to um, removebg.com and I'll remove the background. So what that will look like, let's get rid of that one. And let's go up here and get rid of this and delete this. So after I've removed the background, it should look like this. So we'll get rid of these little pages down here. Goodbye. And now what I want to do is I'm going to tighten this up a little bit like so. And then I'm going to make it the size I want to make it. So the easiest thing I found to do is what I, what I do is I just go up and make a line here. And then I duplicate it. Then I'm going to line it back up on top of each other. Bring it down to the size that I want. Let's see, that needs a little bit more adjusting. There we go. And then I'm going to bring it down. And then you can see right there where the line is to so go back up. And then what I want to do is duplicate that again. Do the same thing again. Line that back up. Bring it down some more. Go down. There's my white part. Maybe I want to make that a smidge bit bigger. Duplicate that again. Go down. Down until we find the white line. Go again, duplicate again. Line up. Down. Get it back centered like so. And down. There we go. Duplicate. Oops. It doesn't matter. All right, line it up. Bring it down. Fine. White mark. This has got to be a little bit bigger. Let's go to there. Duplicate again. Line it up. Down. Down. Duplicate again. Line up. Down. We'll just make this next one a big one. Just for... This is just for purposes of instructional. So now that I have all my lines all broken up, what I want to do is I want to go in here. I want to go to edit image. And what I do, excuse me, I didn't mean to hit that. I want to go hit my shadows. So what I did is I put the drop on there. The drop. Um, for some reason, my canvas has been glitchy. So what I've been doing is doing drop twice. So if you... If you do, if you've noticed and you've ever done it before, uh, I don't know. Why is it doing that? Okay, let's drop. Edit image, drop, apply. Okay, so, and if it's working well, you just want to, uh, you can also 
see my canvas messing up. Canva has been on weird lately. So I just did the drop twice on each one of them. It just made it easier for me um, if it works. If not, just drop apply. Um, it's been glitching out for some reason. So I just figured out the best way to do it is just drop it twice. And we're going to go through all of those like so. It's hard to do tutorials when your Canva is glitchy, but as we all know, as Canva users, Canva can be glitchy. And the other thing is I am also recording this on Canva, which also can have its moments for itself. So, I mean, sometimes there's workarounds for it. Sometimes there's not. You know, we all need to do the... Oh, see, my little drops ain't seen up. So, what I want to do is I want to make the... Um, oh, see, it goes right back out. So, like I said, I've just been having better luck just hitting that twice. Sometimes if I want them darker, I'll, I'll do it like three times. And I have done it three times. Because if you do it multiple times, if you've ever done any of these things and notice like if you did like the curve and did the drop, the curve stays and do the drop afterwards, both stay. So you can do multiple shadows, different types of shadows on the same image. Because once you put the first shadow in, it's there. It's going to stay. So let's give this one another drop. One. This one just looks not dark enough for my, for my taste. So let's give that a little another drop. So now that I've kind of got it spicy, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. Um, you can do it over so it'll be like little individual pieces that you can move anywhere, any kind of configuration you want to move it. You want to zigzag it. You want to turn it on its side. You can do whatever. You can like really shatter it into different areas. The possibilities are endless. Um, earlier I was doing some weird stuff with mine, but so see, it takes your text and do it. So like if you wanted to do individual letters, I mean, you can do individual letters and kind of chop them up. The key to this is, is you have to turn that letter into a PNG. That letter, that word, whatever. You need to turn it into a PNG. It's very important. So like other examples of stuff that I've done, I will kind of, um, I don't know if I have anything in the uploads and I'm actually just working off of this thing, but I hope that kind of helped you out. I know this looks like a hot mess because that's what I did to it. I can back it all back into order. Back, 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 back. Um, the other thing is too, if you want to kind of make it layery, you can, Move each piece behind each other, which kind of almost looks like post-it notes. Um, if you want to try and do that to some degree. So you just want to send them, keep sending them back. So you can do all kinds of stuff once you get like this little, the base down. You can experiment and do all kinds of weird little things with them. Because that's what I've been doing and I've been having a blast doing it. Um, I hope you have a blast doing it. I hope I helped you out. If you have any comments, please leave them in, in the comment section. Any questions, whatever you need. I thank you for coming and listening to me prattle on. I'm sorry for prattling on. You probably don't even get to this point of the video. But if you did, please like and subscribe if I helped you at any point in this video. If not, like I said, um, people can find me on Facebook. Um, I'm under my real name under Facebook. So if you got here through Facebook, you know who I am. If not, it's a secret. But otherwise, my name is Michelle. I love you guys. Peace out.